My name's Kyle, but you didn't ask. And in the interest of your time, to complete this farm, all you need to do is enter the Bad Day area, which you gain access to via the Sheng side mission, complete it, then run back to the entrance, log out to the main menu via, you know, pressing the return to lobby button, then load back in, walk back into the Bad Day area, and all of the chests should respawn. Should. Should. Respawn. I'm recording this in one take because, you know, I, I you know, I'm, I, I'm wasting time doing this. So, <laughs> well, a double waste time re-recording version of the video. Uh, the thing about this is, of course, the enemies won't respawn. So, it is a very quick way for you to gain access to three chests. Run back to the beginning of the instance or dungeon or side mission, whatever you want to call it. Log out to the main menu, come back, and all of the three chests have respawned. Could have put this out sooner, but I didn't. I guess I must have been taking advantage of something I imagined would be patched, as most things are. Oddly enough, all of the corny-ass versions of uh, legendary farming I've been seeing posted don't include this one, which is strange because I'd imagine the chests have a higher chance of procking legendaries, which is all you guys seem to care about. But what you should be caring about are shards, which you'll be able to use to mess with your stuff in the future. You highlight this little shards button, you can get a hold on the amount of shards that you have. Most of these things will cap out, of course, but the scraps, yeah, you can go over 9,000 video game reference. On top of this, when you find a blue, when you disassemble it, you have a chance of getting a mod. You see the bottom right hand of my screen see an extra time? I just got a mod. Wow. Wow. Let's not uh, forget accolades. You'll be getting some sort of uh, loot bullcrap for your little accolades. Not bad. The bottom line is this, you know. This is the perfect run for people who want to play this in the background and not pay attention. And if that really rings a bell for you, if you play Destiny and you want to jump on your sparrow and just roll around farming boxes and doing patrol, kind of mindless stuff that you really don't have to focus too hard on not dying if you're running into a boss over and over, this is great. It also works in a group, though I don't recommend that. I'm running this on my computer right now, on my SSD, and... The load times are not awful, but they're better than they would be if you tried to do this with a partner. Um, to be frank, some of the load times are a bit excessive, and that is not because of anybody's rig, it's because of all of the nonsense you likely have to exchange with the servers when you're getting in. But I'm just going to load back in and show you that all you have to do is come out to the main menu, go back in. And when you open this damn door, all of these chests have respawned, but the enemies have not. It's a fairly quick experience if you have, um, you know, I guess the computer or it saved onto the right storage. Game didn't take up much, the demo anyway, it was like uh, probably 25 gigs, something like that. I also got into the any file to take off the motion blur so it looks a little bit better in motion. Um, a little bit better being the key. Um, that was something that I found on the subreddit for Outriders. If you're dying for the PC way to turn off motion blur, let me know in the comment section. Actually, nah, I'll just post a link to that thread <laughs> in the description. And if I didn't, then you comment to let me know that I said I was going to do it, but then I didn't because I must have forgot because odds are I'm probably still not going to release this video immediately. And don't call me a crook for that because I'm trying to take advantage of something that I guess other people haven't figured out or maybe it doesn't even work for them. Can you imagine I put this out and it doesn't work for me? And it's not like a typical like you're an idiot and you didn't do it properly, but like a wow, it just only works for Kyle. You're getting banned, Kyle, you son of a bitch. I, like I, I accidentally did into this encounter. What the fuck? I didn't do it. I'm purpose. Ooh, look at all those greens, man. Again, this is best for shards. 
it's good for harvesting mods um you do stand a chance at getting a legendary but you know i wouldn't i wouldn't hold your breath it's all dice rolls man so you stand as good a chance as anyone at any point in getting this bing bong but uh here it is simple as that i don't know what more you want me to say what more you want me to do I can load out one more time, come back in, show you that it's all above board. Okay. How are you liking Outrider so far? I really do like the abilities. You know? It's pretty much just Gears of War again, but with Destiny or what would you call them? What would you call these abilities? Mass Effect style abilities? If you're an old man, you've been playing Mass Effect. Mass Effect 3 didn't come out that long ago. You know? Son of a bitch. You like my hood? I want to be like Assassin's Creed hood. This game could have had melee weapons in it. I feel like that would have been a good, uh, a good compliment to the trickster class. But man, I thought I'd be all Technomancer. I'm probably not going to enjoy that class until it's maxed out which you cannot do in the demo I'm loving the devastator which I already knew that I would game may not be the most explosive thing in the world or ex exquisitely innovative but you know it does better things than some of the other trash that I've been playing lately I'm looking at you Marvel's Avengers suck my balls broke ass game Jesus Christ even the loot drop it onto the ground and then we can disassemble it as opposed to it immediately going into our inventory taking up space like we can do shit with greens and grays come on now be even better if we could set within our character whether or not we should auto dismantle shit that's below a certain level that'd be great you know what else is nice is going into your inventory and just highlighting a bunch of stuff that you go you know what i don't want that i don't want this i don't want that you know the 202, what in God's name are you doing? I get that you're blue. Abadi, abadai. And then you just dismantle it all at one time, my God. You can do that? You can do that in a normal loot game? You can highlight a bunch to recycle? Oh my God. Jesus. You get it. The boxes respawn. And you can watch TV. You can watch a, a podcast. You can watch another video on my channel. I'm unbearable. Mm-hmm. I keep talking about titties to let people know that I'm real, you know? This video is brought to you by my sponsor, Titties. <laughs> you know, subscribe for the titty box. You know, I want to throw this away because look at it. But if I were to equip it, I'd probably look cool. Oh, damn. I'm looking cool as a bitch. Oh, damn. I got the... I got the scarf, I got the hood, you know? If I was a black man in the hood, I would probably get shot looking like this. Hey you, put that weapon down. This is a Twix bar. You know what I mean? Why did I have to take it there, you know? Why'd you have to take it there, Kyle? Cause that's what it's like out there in the streets. In the video game streets, Kyle, man. A lot of slapstick moments in this game where people are just getting shot. Where they walk in the room like, hey, I'm this guy. Some guy shoots him. And then the other guy goes, well, that's what he gets for not being a... And then he gets shot. It's just a chain of people walking into a room and getting shot by some other guy going, Whoa, looks like he just got... Whoa, is my hair clipping through the... Boy, we better get out of here. You guys get it. It works. See you later. Ooh, what an efficient farm for people who ain't trying to do nothing. Leave it to Kyle to find it. What, what does it say about me? Shut up. And end the video. <laughs>